Aya. I ask the oracle if there's another dog in my future. White dog falls from the sky, lands in a puddle of red earth, and turns to pink dog. She chases deer and coyote west until all the pink drains from both her fur and the horizon. The sky darkens. Under starlight, she becomes white dog again. She licks a rattlesnake, swallows a toothbrush, lands in the veterinary hospital twice, and depletes my savings. I name her Aya for the oracle and one of the seven angels who picked up Icarus. After living with her for a while, little old black dog has the life-altering realization that he's a canine, not a misfit feline. He climbs on her back and for the first time puts his head out the car window. He feels the rushing air through his fur while his nostrils quiver with ancient wisdom. Aya sits upright in the driver's seat like a chauffeur, one paw on the steering wheel, waiting for me to come out of the store so she can drive me home. That will never happen, and she won't be able to lift the frown from every face, but she'll keep trying to do both. I'll try to rein in her dangerous curiosity, but either from old age or mishap, one day she'll return to her origins, and I'll wander the world, weeping, in search of her wild, sweet spirit.